Hello everyone, and this is Well Drink. I am Oscar Rene, a bartender at Corinne in Austin, Texas. Today we are going to be making the Old Fashioned, otherwise known as the Bitter Sling. The first histories of this drink was rumored to have been created in the Penn Dennis Club in Louisville, Kentucky. There's a lot of ways to make an Old Fashioned. You can do it by muddling a sugar cube, you can do it with simple syrup, or you could even muddle your fruit in there, which I personally don't recommend. My preferred method is going to be with a demerara syrup. So why start with this cocktail? Every cocktail channel should. And why? Because this is the staple cocktail. The first cocktail that most bartenders learn or know. This cocktail is made by combining a spirit, a sugar, and bitters all together. You can exchange your spirits, you can exchange different types of bitters, creating different types of variations of the old fashioned. The way I'm going to make it today is with rye. I prefer rye in my cocktails over bourbon. And I'm going to make it with Angostura bitters and orange bitters and a Demerara syrup that I created myself here at home. I'm using Redemption rye today. I'm going to start with two ounces of my Redemption rye. a half ounce of my Demerara syrup, and the way I typically like to do this is about three dashes of Angostura bitters. And I'll either usually do the same amount in orange bitters or one below. So I'll be doing, let's do two today. All right. And then I'm gonna stir this over cracked ice. Make a little mess we're gonna clean up here in a second. And the standard is to stir this drink for about, they say, 20 rotations or when the liquid becomes level with your ice. This one does not want to crack today. There we go. I'm using a bit extra ice to really anchor it down, so we're not going to go with the method of leveling the ice here. So do about 20 stirs or whatever makes you feel comfortable, really. And we're going to pour this over a large cube. And we're going to garnish it with a orange peel that we're going to express over the cocktail. Nice, close to the rind, get all the oils in there if we can. I like to give it a little rim around the edge, just get a little extra of that orange flavor in there. Nice pretty garnish here. And a Luxardo Maraschino Cherry. That's how you make an old fashioned. Cheers.